Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Tyro here, aka the Light Skin Gamer LSG, and welcome to another commentary. And this commentary had to go ahead and happen. I just wanted to go ahead and break down because some people have been experiencing the same thing. Whenever they get like, uh, whenever they want to get into PC gaming and look up the free to play games, usually I love shooters and I want to go ahead and see the free to play first person shooters because some might suck like <clears throat> combat arms or some might be actually good so i would want to go ahead and know what's good free to play first person shooters that i can rock with and sadly i've come across some really good ones i've come across some bad ones and i've come across some good ones that just don't have anybody playing them and i wanted to know what's killing off these games so quick so i'm just gonna go ahead and get into some things real quick so one thing I think that is killing off some of these free-to-play first-person shooters are the mechanics. I think that some free-to-play first-person shooters just don't have really good mechanics. Like this game, War Inc. Battlezone that I'm playing, which is free-to-play on Steam, it's actually a really fun game, but it feels a little casual in my opinion. Like, most of the guns really don't have recoil at all, and it kind of feels like Call of Duty and Battlefield mixed, but I don't like it that my gun shoots like a laser beam. It really feels really, really cheap. And also, whenever you switch your weapons, it, your gun literally appears right in front of you. It doesn't show an uh, animation of you grabbing your pistol or your shotgun. It literally spawns right in your hands. And one thing I kind of do like is, of course, the flashiness of the game. That's actually pretty nice. The way the controls are clean and nice and crisp, but whenever you reload, it, it only goes by the magazine. It doesn't go by how much bullets is left. So if you literally shoot one bullet out of your mag and you throw that boy out and reload, that those bullets are gone. You only have the 30 that's in the next mag. And what's really poop about that, I don't mind that if it's like an assault rifle or maybe anything that has a magazine. But if it's a, a shotgun where you reload shell by shell, and I literally shot a one shell out of my, actually two shells out of my shotgun in this game, but you'll see later on. And I need a, like two more shells. And I went through the whole seven shell reloads uh, time. And I'm like, yo, this, I'm like, I, that's clearly unnecessary. That's just poor mechanics in my opinion. So I stayed away from the shotguns, but in a way I still come back to this game, still playing it, even though I got it like last night. But I don't know, man, this game, and another thing about this game, it's not really populated well. There's not that many people playing it, and I can kind of see why in a way, but at the same time, I still have a lot of fun playing this game, and I wish it was a game like this that just didn't have the things, like the no recoil and with most guns, that crappy reload time, especially when it comes to shotguns, and just overall, just the way the game feels like it feels a little bit too casual in my opinion but that's just my opinion some people may love this game maybe the six people but i don't know so let's go ahead and move on so another thing i think is killing these free to play first person shooters off which is of course what everybody's gonna say the pay to win system or just using actual money instead of in-game currency now i can get this like in the league of legends or you know just paying for skins and stuff like that but in these free to play first person shooter games if you just get a gun that's extremely good and somebody, especially if a game is not really designed well, like District 187, where if you literally bought one gun and they had that default weapon, you couldn't get one kill. Not even playing. Either people were hacking in that game, which I'll get to next, or people just bought a weapon and I just couldn't even get the kill off because my weapon was so horrible. Actually, in Warface, the default weapon I actually get is actually decent, or the G36C. Those are actually decent weapons. But games like uh, Project Blackout, like I couldn't even get a kill with the preset guns that they gave me or some of the lower rank guns that you get with the in-game currency and it was just so poop to me and I'm like bro I don't even want to play this game just because of the fact that if I gotta put actual money into it or just end up trying to use a crappy weapon and I really can't even do anything because people are doing all this bull crap then I don't want to play the game so that's another thing that's actually in my opinion killing these free to play first person shooters off now let's go ahead and get into the big one the hacks in the game. This is another thing I feel like is killing these free to play first person shooters. In District 187, no lie, when I, I think it was like the second day I started playing, I noticed there have been times where I literally put a whole clip into somebody and they didn't drop. And I'm like, okay, maybe I'm just lagging. Come to find out, man's using God mode. Hasn't died the whole game. Has like 30 freaking kills. He's 30 and 0. People were just spraying a whole clip, throwing grenades at him. He's just eating everything. And I see niggas flying above the map, just shooting everybody. And I'm like, yo, what in the world is going on? I'm like really confused. I'm like, you really need to hack in the game. And guess what? Like I said in the last episode of PC Gaming Showcase, that game got shut down. And 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 Project Blackout also. Oh, excuse me. Also. 
I ended up getting a dude just getting non-stop headshots left and right, like aimbotting and stuff. I, there are plenty of people out there doing it. If you type in a free-to-play first-person shooter and a third thing recommended in the Google search it says hacks at the end of it, don't download it. You will get so angry because the odds are people are hacking in that game like crazy. But that, in my opinion, is definitely can I can't stand hackers. Like last night, I played Warface and. I literally, on my team, I saw everybody uh, just running out to the spawn. I think it was the new map hotel, and then or motel, and then the enemy team, everybody just dropped. And I'm like, and then they're just like screaming, hacks, hacks, hacks. And then, like, you can clearly tell that's hacks. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And then he's like, uh, y'all want to win, don't you? Like, the dude that's hacking said that. And I'm like, nigga, are you crazy? I'm like, would you just play the game first? And then he ended up doing it again. And they're literally begging this dude. Please stop hacking. We, we just want to play. And then he's just like having fun with this. And he ended up getting kicked eventually. But I don't know, man. Hackers just drive me nuts. I cannot stand hackers. What you guys think in the comments of what you think are killing these free to play first person shooters if it is not what I've already said? Or just tell me about an uh, experience that you had. So thank you guys for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe. And that is it, guys. Talk Rogue is out.